In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a YouTube intro using CapCut. I will show you the step-by-step -step way to create a professional YouTube intro using CapCut. Alright, so the link to download CapCut is in the description below. Once you download CapCut, just tap on this plus icon here to create a new project, okay? All the material you'll be needed is also in the description below. Just tap on the link and download the particular material you need, okay? So right here, I will input this particular intro. Then I'll click on add. Alright, so once you add the particular footage we'll be using right here in this video. So at this particular point, um, at this particular point, I want to add my logo, okay? You can just add any logo you have or any logo of your brand or your personal logo, okay? So for you to add your logo, for you to add anything on CapCut, just click on this overlay. Then I'll click on add overlay. So right here, I am going to add my logo. So I'll go to my photo. Alright guys, so here is the particular logo I want to use. So I'll just tap on this add to add this particular logo. Then I'll click on this cancel. Alright guys, so here is the logo right now, okay? And the next thing for you to do is just to blend the logo, okay? For you to blend the logo, just tap on this splice. Alright, so just click on filter to blend it to filter, okay? Then I'll click on this mark. So once you blend to filter, the next thing for you to do is to add animation to it. So I'll tap on this animation. Then I'll click on this in animation. So right here, the animation we are going to be adding is very simple, okay? That is fading. So I don't want to add fancy animation to it because I just want the particular intro to look more realistic okay so right here um i will leave it at 0 0.5 seconds then i'll click on mark so let's play it and let's see how it looks all right all right so this is so perfect right now so once the particular um intro is going out you need to click on your logo then you click on this splint so once you split your logo then go back to the splice so right here we are not adding any filter to it okay then i'll click on this normal then i'll click on this mark all right so let's play this and let's see how it looks all right so this is so perfect right now you can also add um a text maybe what your channel is all about on youtube or generally what you are doing okay so right here i can just write um let's save editing and e growth all right so once you add your text don't forget to change the font of the text that's very very important so right here i'll change the font of my text to classic which is very simple then i'll click on this style to change the color of the text so i'll change the color of the text to black i think that's okay then i'll decrease the size of the text all right so this is okay by me then i'll also go to the animation to add some cool animation to the text okay so right here the animation that i am going to be using for this particular text is um let's see the one that is okay for it all right so concrete is okay as you can see so right now i'll click on this mark so let's play this video and let's see how it looks all right guys so this will perfect right now as you can see and the next thing to do is to extend the text and the particular logo you added to the end of the video okay so i'll tap on this text then i will extend it to the end of the video all right so for me to extend the particular logo i will go back then i'll click on this overlay so right here i can see what i added as the overlay okay 
so i'll also extend this particular logo to the end of this all right so once you do that and uh, so once you do that you can save your video right now okay so you can also change the resolution of the video so right here i can just change it to 180p which is the best quality in CapCut. okay then once i change it to 180p i'll tap on this save icon where the arrow is showing right now then i'll tap on it all right so right now the video is now saving okay this is the end of this video tutorial if you find this video helpful to you don't forget to subscribe like and comment thank you for watching i will see you in my next video